Hello everybody. Well, you have just bought your brand new Celestron Nexstar 5 SE telescope and you have no idea how to set it up. <laughs> well, don't worry. That's what this video is about. I'm going to show you how to set up your Celestron Nexstar 5 SE telescope right now. Let's start our setup with what we should do with every telescope. Let's start with the tripod. Now here's how it's shipped. It's just all folded up like this. It comes with the tripod itself and this uh, stabilizer plate. These holes are for holding eyepieces. You've got normal inch and a quarter eyepiece holes and big giant two inch eyepiece holes for when you spend more money <laughs> and get better eyepieces. And you know what I'm talking about. So that, that's, that's all it comes with really. So let's go ahead and set it up. We'll spread the legs out. Let's go ahead and extend the tripod and then it has these little it has this little screw set up here with the spring and a washer just take that stuff off and the only thing you got to worry about here is you need to worry about this little notch right here. This is a this holds the uh, declination guide. This is the declination guide. I'll show you how to set that up in just a minute. But just go ahead and set it up. Feed the declination guide through, and then you put the washer on the spring and just screw it on. Tighten it up. Just get it nice and snug so that the tripod is sturdy okay so that's the that's how you set up the tripod now one of my I'm just gonna go ahead and show you this now while the telescope is off of it one of my favorite things about this tripod is this right here if you take this and loosen it this right here and loosen it you can now set the declination of your telescope and these markings here are for your latitude so to and this what this allows you to do you notice how this is setting up on an angle this allows you to polar align your telescope there's because there's two ways you can use this telescope you can use it in out as mode which is well I'll show you that in a minute or you can use it in polar alignment mode and that is that right there is a four to six hundred dollar accessory on some of the bigger telescopes and it comes with this one so that's really cool so that's one of my favorite things about this you'll need to look up your latitude for where you are and set it that way so there you go all right let's go ahead and take a look at the telescope this is the se5 right here as it comes in the box This is your warning not to ever look at the sun i've seen these on every telescope manufactured ever so don't look at the sun okay anyway this is the telescope it's really in nice shape uh i like the way this is built it is um I, what i love how lightweight this is so it's really cool it's got the we take this tape off we have the hand controller and that was the lens cap we have the hand controller right here i'll show you how to use that in just a minute but for now let's just go ahead put it in its holder this is a pretty good design i like this put the lens cap on hopefully that stays on and then you can just rotate this up like this and let's put it on the mount so here's the mount now to get this on you just simply have to you have to this is a good feature by the way these all stay on. You don't have to go hunting for those <laughs> knobs anymore. It used to be with old C8s, you, you had to find them or you had them sitting in your case somewhere. But check this out for a sec before I put it on. Look at this. You could actually put this on a tabletop on your car hood and you could just use it as a point and shoot telescope if you wanted to. Just a, a point and look. So I really like how light and small this is. You don't need the tripod to be able to use it. There, I just took out the, dropped the lens cap. Then we just put it on the telescope itself. Now there is a thing on, there's a hole here at the bottom where you are supposed to line up. See that hole right there? You line it up with the center hole right here on the tripod to make sure it stays on there. And then once it's on, you can rotate it around a little bit. And then you just screw the knobs in to hold them on, to hold them in place. And now the whole thing is ready to go. You can move it around, pick it up. The whole thing is actually pretty light. I like this a lot about it. Um, 
So, and if you want to set it up for polar alignment, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. You just rotate this up. You set it for what your latitude is right here. And in Florida, I live in, it's, it's graduated from uh, 25 all the way to 30, uh, 50, 60, all the way up to 90 degrees. Okay, this is 90 degrees. This is if you're at the North Pole. <laughs> and all the way sideways, which this doesn't do, would be at the equator. It stops at about 25 degrees north latitude. I'm in Florida, so I'm going to set it for about 30 degrees. I'm 29 actually, but I'll just set it for 30. That's close enough. And then when I go outside, this fork axis right here will point straight to the North Pole. Okay, so now we're all set and ready to go, except for one more thing. We got to put in batteries <laughs> and lots of them. So let's go ahead and set this down. Okay, so the batteries go in the, in the pedestal. You need a screwdriver to get it open. So grab one of these and then pry this cover off. Takes a lot of batteries. So and now you have to use double A batteries as well. So let's put them in. Okay, so now that we've got the batteries in, let's go ahead and turn it on, make sure it works. The power switch is right underneath the fork arm. So you just click it on and then hand paddle turns on. So let me change my arrangement here so you can see the hand paddle a little bit better. All right, so here's a better view of the hand paddle. Let's go ahead and turn on the power so you can see it. And when it first powers up for the first time, you see all these head, you see these headlines here. Anyway, the first thing it wants you to know is to pick what uh, language you want. So I'll just pick English and enter to accept. And then we have to hit enter to begin the alignment process. So let's go ahead and hit enter. So there's three different choices. We have Skyline, we have Automatic 2 Star, and, auto, and 2 Star Align, and 1 Star Align. Okay, now that we're ready to align the telescope up, we have to tell it, first of all, where we are on the planet Earth. So if we hit this Align button, from any, any time we're ready to set it up, there's two ways you can tell it where you are. There's a city database. You can look up a city if you're in a city, or you can do a custom site. But, uh, Personally, I prefer a custom site, but that's a little bit of a pain. If you're a beginner, just use City Database. Hit Enter, okay? And it says, okay, I'm, you're in North America. So hit Enter, uh, United States, and then we get to scroll through the states. I am in Florida, so I will enter Florida. And then I have to select the city. Now, I'm lucky I'm near a city. <laughs> I like to uh, observe here in Aster quite a bit. So I'm just going to select Aster. And then I tell it the time I'm at that at this location. And it's 540. It's not quite dark yet. It's getting there. And then it asks me if I'm on standard time. And then it asks me to enter the date. And now I'm ready to start pointing the telescope at bright things and telling the, te the telescope where these bright things are. Okay, we've got the tripod set up. We've got our we've got our stabilizer on. It's mounted on the it's the telescope is mounted on the tripod. We've told it where we've turned it on. We've told it where, what time it is, what day it is. We've told it where on the Earth we are. We're almost ready to go outside and observe, but we want to put this on. This is the little finder scope that it comes with. This is very it's it's pretty easy to use. I'm not going to go into detail about how to really use it in this video because I don't have time, but. Let's go ahead and put it on the telescope and you screw the you unscrew these these screws right here to loosen it up. This is the front of the telescope, this is the front of the finder scope. So just go ahead and put it in. Slide it on the little track. Okay, like that. And then you tighten it again with the screwdriver. Keep a little screwdriver like this handy in your in your telescope case. You'll be glad you did. Okay, so the finder scope is on. Now, a couple more things before we go outside because it's easier to show you inside. Here is the back of the telescope. This is something called a visual back. This is where you put your, your eyepieces and your, uh, your uh, star, star diagonals in. And like its, like its name suggests, you use it for visual observing. And it screws off. Uh, when you buy the scope, it comes on. But it screws right off, and this is where you would attach a camera later on or something like that. But for now, let's just leave it on. Screw it on nice and tight. And take the little cover off, the little dust cover. And now, you take out your star diagonal, which you've got with your telescope. 
And the reason you use this is it makes observing through an eyepiece more visually comfortable, okay? It just turns it at a right angle. Inside here is a prism and, well there's two kinds, there's prisms and there's mirrors. This looks like a, a prism. So you take the dust cover off, insert it in the visual back. There we go. Until it snaps in, you tighten the little set screws and now you take this out. And this telescope comes with, it comes with a 25 millimeter plossel, which is a very good eyepiece. These are really high quality. I like these a lot. They will provide you with magnification and an image plane to see. You take the dust covers off. They have a little eye relief rubber on there. Put that in. The star diagonal. Tighten down the set screws. And we are ready to go observing. This is the focus knob down here. This is what we'll use to focus with. It turns, it moves the mirror up and down so that we can focus. And we are ready to go observing. Okay, well that about does it. I think I've done everything I can to show you how to set up your brand new Celestron Nexstar 5 SE telescope. We've gone from opening the box all the way up through setting it up and getting it ready to go outside and observe. Now we're ready to take this telescope outside, orient it with the night sky, and then we can start using the onboard catalog of objects with the keypad and enjoy the night under the stars. Now I have a separate video that shows you how to do that, how to set up the telescope using the sky align feature. It's very simple, very easy to do, but there's another video on that. So please check it out. It's in the little link up here. And it's also, there's another link to that video down in the description box below. So please check it out and you can be up and running in less than 10 minutes to be able to start viewing everything up in the night sky. Okay, well, this video was made possible by OPT Telescopes, a world leader in telescopes and accessories for both amateur and professional astronomers. And if you visit the link using the link below in the description box and this handy dandy little uh, code that we have here, you can get a slight discount on one of these telescopes for yourself. So thank you all so much for watching. And as always, keep looking up.